Today we'll be discussing IT Pro Challenges. We will go through the three different levels in which they've been developed. We'll discuss what's common amongst those levels and then also discuss the differences among the levels as well and how those differences really enhance and expand a user or a learner's learning experience. So here in the screen before you, you're actually seeing the three levels in which the challenges have been developed, guided, advanced, and expert. These are developed in a hierarchy, where again, the guided is the most foundational of the level, advanced is the middle tier, and where expert is actually at the mastery level. Again, where we are wanting students or users to come in and actually demonstrate that they have a full grasp on the concept or the task at hand. You'll notice again from just the introductory page here, the challenges are formatted very consistently. You'll see that as we go through the requirements pages as well. This is done purposely. So again, students or users know exactly what to expect, where they can find information. And again, just setting the overall tone for the challenges as well. Here on the introductory page, we also include the challenge overview. We want students to jump in and get right into the scenario and understand so they can begin their challenge immediately. So here you'll see the scenario information as well as the environment information. Under the overview sections themselves, you will see as the challenges increase in complexity, again guided being the most simple, expert being again the most complex, the challenge overview sections again will also become more complex in nature as well. Let's take a look at the actual requirements pages next and again look what's common amongst those and also what's different. Now we're actually viewing the requirements pages of the challenges. As a quick reminder and again just so you can see up in the top page here, the guided challenges here on your left, advanced in the middle, an expert here on your far right. Notice again the commonality in framework. We've talked about the importance again of, of how that really sets the tone. Um, and again, letting the user know what to expect. You'll notice at the requirements here at the top of the page, they are very straightforward in what they're asking the student to perform. And then the individual tasks that are listed underneath here in the bullets are also very simplistic in tone and again what they're actually asking the student to perform. Contrast that actually with a traditional lab which is very very prescriptive and almost gives a click by click instruction. Again we have purposely designed these challenges so they will be very goal oriented at the task level again at these bulleted levels so the student actually thinks about the steps they actually have to perform in the challenge itself. The next section let's actually take a look at and in particular we're going to focus on the guided and the advanced challenge right now is the check your work section. This check your work section actually provides a level of assessments for the user or again for the actual student. In the guided, you will see this is actually a self-assessment or a self-verification where the steps have been performed above, the students are going to their lab environment and confirming that a particular item either exists in their lab environment or again that certain properties are displayed within their lab environment as well. Contrast that to the check your work section in the advanced challenge. In the advanced challenge we actually employ activity based assessments and this is actually a script that runs behind the scenes checking the performance or checking again the tasks that have actually been completed in the lab environment and returns the results to the students to actually show them what they have completed successfully and what they need to go back and work on. While in this section, students may absolutely go back and repeat the task again that was not performed correctly so they can advance to the next step. Again, we are, are requiring folks to actually complete all of the tasks correctly before moving to the next steps. So what happens if your students or again, a user gets stuck within these particular levels. 
you'll note the hints. In the hints for the guided challenge, again, this is the most foundational of the level, so we are providing the students with the most assistance at this level. So in the hints, we will give them a summary of the steps that they need to take and then also support that either with a screenshot or perhaps it's an animated GIF that shows the end results or again, what they actually need to be looking for and need to, like say, almost put in as settings to have the task perform correctly. Contrast that to the hints in the advanced section. We talked about the advanced being the next tier and we want students really to begin to assimilate and apply what they need to learn to actually perform the task appropriately. So the hints within an advanced challenge is pointing a student or a user actually to official documentation or again, an official blog. Again, where they may actually find out how to perform the solution. So this is not again that guided hint, but again, it actually allows them to go and find the answer and then once they have found the answer to actually put that in place. And so we've talked about the guided and the advanced. Let's actually spend a few minutes in the expert challenge. As the expert challenge or expert name implies, this again is where we are expecting users to have mastery of a particular topic and to really come through and put those skills to the test. So you will notice there are no check your work sections or hints at the actual requirement page of the expert challenge. Instead, and as I advance through the screens here, what we will ask the students is to perform all of their requirements as they intended, ensure that those requirements have been performed correctly, and then we'll actually provide them with a validation and or a score report at the end of the challenge, again, to show them what areas they may have proficiency in and what areas, again, they may need some additional work. And this is provided to them in the manner of a score report. Mm -hmm.